Thousands of what are being called penis fish have washed up on the shore of a California beach. Not only that, one kid says he even found one in his mother's nightstand. A man in Kansas was arrested after he was caught having sex with the tailpipe of a car. The sex was described as exhausting. <laughs> a new study shows that Beaumont, Texas is the least educated city in the country. Oh man, wait until they don't read about this. <laughs> in the latest episode of Gwyneth Paltrow's new Netflix show, Sex, Love, and Goop, a sexologist explained how people can experience full body orgasms while fully clothed without touching, which is also what happens when your mom watches Bridgerton. <laughs> Insiders are also saying that during meetings, President Biden repeatedly uses the F word in conversations. More concerning, the F word he keeps using is forget. A man in Oregon who had collapsed in his house was saved after his local Domino's Pizza became concerned he hadn't called in his regular order and sent a driver to check on him. It's all wow. part of Domino's new slogan, you die when we say you die. <laughs> Trump advisor Stephen Miller also wants to hold migrants seeking asylum in tent cities. Fun fact, tent city is also what Stephen Miller gets anytime a girl talks to him. Police in Canada will soon start making people caught drinking and driving listen to Nickelback. So let that be a lesson to all you drunk drivers out there. Make sure the crash kills you. It was announced that... Creed singer Scott Stapp will play Frank Sinatra in an upcoming movie. But the good news is, Sammy Davis Jr. will be played by Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> the weekend update on Michael Che. <laughs> I'm Colin Just. Good night. Residents on Staten Island are upset with the local man who keeps a pet horse in his yard saying the animal smells and attracts flies. But you know what else smells and attracts flies? Staten Island. <laughs> Officials at JFK Airport say that a suitcase containing more than 100 pounds of cocaine was left unclaimed at the luggage carousel. For reference, here's what 100 pounds of cocaine looks like. <laughs> Lawyers for R. Kelly, who's being held without bail, are complaining that the singer is only allowed to visit with one of his girlfriends at a time. Worse, visiting hours conflict with the schedule of their middle school. <laughs> And in this week's presidential porno recap, Trump's <laughs> personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, who's definitely a candidate for friend of the year, said that he used funds from his own home equity line to pay $130,000 to silence Stormy Daniels. Can anyone in America imagine taking out a home equity loan to help their friend pay off a porn star? <laughs> the best part is, you know that right after Cohen settled up with Stormy, Trump saw another porn star and was like, she's pretty cute too. And Cohen's like, dude, I'm gonna lose my house. Police in Florida arrested a man in a local Target for masturbating with an Olaf doll. <laughs> Worse, he let it go. <laughs> UFO enthusiasts have declared that Hillary Clinton is the first ET candidate after she pledged to release government files on UFOs and Area 51. Unfortunately, the aliens keep all their files on a private email server. <laughs> Joe Biden is now the frontrunner and just picked up an endorsement from Michigan's governor only days before the state's primary. And it makes sense that Michigan would love Biden because it kind of looks like a hand trying to touch a lady's hair. <laughs>
By the way, can the media please stop getting us all riled up with headlines like, will porn star bring down president? Is Mueller moving in for the kill? Just stop teasing us if there's no payoff. I'll tell the media the same thing I told my high school girlfriend. I'm totally fine waiting, but then you gotta stop rubbing the outside of my pants. And I get that it's hard to pronounce a lot of these names, but that's what makes award shows so fun. I mean, just imagine John Travolta as he introduces the wickedly talented Davido Olajuwon. Amazon announced that their new Lord of the Rings TV series will be called Rings of Power, though I'm personally more excited for the spin-off Gollum in Paris. 